What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, as the title states, I am going to be replacing my Tom's uh, strut bar uh, with a Megan Racing strut bar. So you know what? Let me just go ahead and turn the camera around and explain to you why I'm switching. Okay, here we have my current strut bar that's attached to the car. Uh, I've already started to unbolt it. Uh, anyways, in my previous video, well not previous, but in an older video when I was installing this, I had a lot of comments saying that this strut bar doesn't actually do anything. For those that aren't aware, this is the Tom's strut bar. Uh, Tom's is a Japanese co company that works a lot with Toyota, almost kind of like uh, Toyota's version of Spoon. So what I had issues with, and a lot of you guys also had issues with, is that this is basically just a rebranded Cusco strut bar. For whatever reason, Tom's opted to work with Cusco on this strut bar instead of just designing their own. Uh, so this is basically just a rebranded Cusco strut bar that costs 10 to 20 dollars more than the Cusco one so it just kind of depends on which name brand you want but anyways uh, the reason it had such a major problem is the fact that it didn't actually attach to the strut tower via these bolts itself it attached it to a bracket that was kind of attached to the strut tower uh, and if I just move the strut bar out this is the bracket that was attached to it as you can see it's super flimsy uh, and basically, really, this is just a showpiece strut bar. So I'm going to remove it today. The Megan Racing one actually attaches to the strut tower itself. So we're going to go ahead and see how that works. But uh, like I said, I've already started to unbolt this. It was just a bunch of 10 millimeters and I think two 12 millimeters. So let's just go ahead, pull this out of the way. And then I'll show you the Megan Racing one. Okay, and here we have the Megan Racing strut bar. Uh, so as you can see here, the brackets actually go underneath the cowl and attach to the strut tower itself. Uh, so that alone is already a much sturdier place to mount it than to where these two were mounted to that flimsy plastic. But anyways, this is basically all that you get. Uh, it does come together, but you do have to take it apart initially to rip off the uh, cellophane or the plastic that is wrapped around the bar itself. Uh, it also comes with uh, a bunch of washers. I don't know if these are spares or they're used to go underneath here. Uh, I'm not quite sure about that yet. It doesn't look like I'm going to need very many tools for this job. It just looks like I'm going to need a ratchet wrench. A, uh, what is this? This is a... Whoa. 5 16 Allen head socket, uh, a 14 millimeter socket, and a 14 millimeter wrench. That should be everything I need to go ahead and get this done. So let's just go ahead and get this started. I have it wedged in there and it's really not coming out and I don't want to strip the threads on the coilover thing. So I'm just going to go ahead and put these uh, 14s back on and tighten that up and then I'll try to show you on the other side. Okay, so let's see if I can go ahead and show you this one handed. So once you get your three 14 millimeter uh, strut bolts out or nuts, uh, you're gonna take the two 10 millimeter bolts out just like before. Then you're gonna lift this up and then try to like, just kind of like pry this uh, plate up ever so slightly. Take your bracket, just kind of like configure where they would meet all three bolts. So there's one, two, and then three. And then just try to squeeze it under there. Let's see if I can do this. I don't, you know what? Hold on real quick. All right. Forgive my little makeshift tripod. I don't know if you guys are going to get the best angle, but just go ahead, lift your cowl up, lift your little bracket up, then go ahead, take the bracket, slide it under the cowl bracket. There we go all lined up then just that simple guys all you gotta do is take the oh one thing i figured out what that bag of washers was for there's six of them and obviously there's six strut tower bolts so just go ahead lay these on top of the uh, factory bracket and then just go ahead put the 14 millimeters on and tighten them down okay once you have your bar in place go ahead and take the allen bolt the flat washer slide it on through Take the lock washer, put it on this side, take the 14 millimeter nut, go ahead and start. Take your 5 16 Allen, 14 millimeter wrench and start tightening. So what I do recommend, 
works just me personally just to start tightening use the allen head but once you fully want to lock it down go ahead and use the wrench side because allen bolts in my experience tend to strip pretty easily once you start putting some torque on it. All right, go ahead, repeat on the other side, and then you are done. All right, and there you have it, the Megan Racing Strub Bar fully installed. That took, honestly, all of like 15 minutes with me recording. Uh, probably could have been a lot faster. I do want to note uh, that, I, and I will edit it to say it in the beginning just in case, uh, I do have a modified cow beam bar thing. Uh, if you guys remember from my Fortune Auto install, I had to cut out the top portion of the uh, the cow plate to be able to access the coilovers. I don't remember if they covered the actual nuts themselves. I think they did. And if they did, you are going to have to remove the cow to do this install, which isn't honestly too bad. It's the same steps I took. Just pop out these tabs right here, unbolt these two right there. Uh, take that cap off. I believe it is a 12 or 14 millimeter nut. Just go ahead, loose, take those off, pull the wipers right out, and the cow will come right up. And then you could take the, the cow plate off and then access it. Uh, so, yeah, there you go. Uh, this is basically the same style as the Blitz bar. Uh, so I know a lot of you guys are going to wonder it's covering the oil cap. Are you going to have any issues? Uh, just kind of like reach under. A lot of room see if it comes off twist and it comes right out so I would say the only thing you are gonna have to add over this if you don't feel like taking the strut bar off every single time to do an oil change is to get a uh, a flexible funnel hose so which I do have one so that's not gonna be a big deal for me uh, but just note that if this does kind of bother you for your oil changes which if I can do this one-handed there we go. Uh, it's not too big of a deal. For $89, this is a great bar compared to the Blitz, which I believe is like almost 180 I could be wrong, which is the same style. If you ask me, it's pushing down with all, it's only a little bit of flex, so it's pretty strong. Definitely a lot less flex than this one gave. When you leaned on this one, this one just kind of like caved in, but I would believe that's due mainly to it being attached to those flimsy bracket but overall guys I think this is a great upgrade especially with it being so cheap $89 I don't know if they're gonna have any sales obviously Labor Day sales 4th of July sales yada 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 if you guys want to I got mine from Redline came in a few days really quick really great service so yeah what do you guys think will this actually do anything or will it not? Let me know in the comments down below before I go ahead and take this out on uh, my little back chicane area. And uh, yeah, let us uh, let me go ahead and get changed. As you can see, I'm super sweaty. I don't know if it's coming off on camera. Little glistens of sweat. But I'm going to go ahead and cool down. And then I'm going to go ahead and take this out on the road. So yeah, see you out there. All right, guys. So I am out here about to head out to my little uh, chicane area that I practice all my turns on when I ever do. Whenever I do some suspension mods, so once again, as always, with strut bars and any really suspension-oriented parts on cars, you really don't get the true feel for them unless you're pushing it to the limits on the track. I don't know how much of a difference I'm going to feel with this one on the car, but I guess once we get out on the road and see, as long as I can feel like even a slightly significant uh, difference, like you know the front end is a little bit more planted than it should be, that's already a bonus, right? So come up here, once this light turns green, I'm gonna head out and then we will see how she fares. All right, here we go. the turn in is a lot sharper now it almost feels like both ends are like actually planted to the ground so it's actually not too bad right not worse than before uh, and the car definitely has a lot more get up and go now with the tune from obviously my previous video that you guys hopefully watched and yeah guys I would definitely say this is a very nice upgrade compared to the 
what was it, the Tom's Law, where I could definitely feel like it helped turn in a little bit, but it definitely felt like one of the wheels wasn't as planted as it should be because of the amount of flex the car had. But now with the, the, the strut bar actually being held down in place and not just by like a flimsy bar, it actually feels pretty good. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I do highly recommend this bar if you haven't gotten one just yet or if you already have the Blitz. Let me know what you think over this one and the Mega Racing. I mean, this one and the Blitz. So until next time, guys. Later.